Ladies and gentlemen, welcome at Baseball Talent Africa. This is a clinic that was held by Play Global. And we're having Scott explaining to the coaches and umpires why we don't respect. show I mean, You're not going to make every, as an umpire, you're not going to make everybody happy. And it's, uh, you got one team winning, one team's losing. When that happens, you'll notice you got the fans over here, the winning team, they're your best friend. The ones that are losing, they're not. They're, they're usually on your back. Well, then, all of a sudden, this team's losing and this team winning. <coughs> Now this team, they're on your back, and these guys are your best friends. So you're not going to make everybody happy. It's all about respect, and it's all about how you handle yourself as a player, coach, and an umpire. Umpires as well. Ne umpires, we should never, ever be an aggressive. You know, if, like if I got a coach down, oh, uh, come over. I coach down there, and he's down there, he's chirping. Hey, why did you talk about the last thing I want to do? What do you want to do? I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Tom, the last thing I want to do is come this way. Once I go towards the end, I'm going to be aggressive. 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 <laughs> so you guys, do you guys kind of understand where we were going with that? Because it's okay. You can talk to the umpire, but again, the communication Excuse me. tone is very important. Yeah, it's all. It's all. Hey, is that as far in as it gets? I'm fine with it. Yes, sir. I'll say yes, sir. Here we see Scott explaining how you handle a situation when there's an argument between an umpire and any manager in the field. So if we have a coach that comes in and starts giving us trouble, giving us a hard time, and won't listen, won't leave, wants to wants to stand there and chirp and, and keep talking, we gotta protect our guy, right? We gotta protect him. So he's gonna come down here and he's gonna take care of him and, and get him off the field. Any questions? You guys ever had any situations come up like that? <coughs> Go ahead. Why, why, why does your partner have to take him out? Why don't you take him out yourself? So it's it's being working as a team, working as a team. You know, there's three teams, right? So you got that team of umpires. So the base umpire, he needs to come down here and help take care of this guy. And also, I'm mad at him, not mm -hmm. not the rest of the crew. Right. right? So that's going to diffuse the situation because I got no problem with the other umpires. It's just Brian's bad in my mind. That's that's a total. Mess. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? You guys got anything? Go ahead. Uh, assuming now the umpire there uh -huh. is totally off and the, and the coach is right about his call. Thank you. When the umpire <coughs> is calling uh, balls or strike when it is not the, the right strike to call mm -hmm. and you're doing uh, a lot of mistakes there. So when can, oh, how do we judge the umpire there? So it's, that, is, that is a balls and strikes or judgment calls. And so all jud judgment calls are not to be that's something you really can't argue. Now, a ruling on the field that goes by the rules, yeah, the, the two umpires will get together to get that right. But from judgment calls, these coaches are not supposed to be arguing balls and strikes. You know, that's why we that's why we work on giving them warnings and warnings, which we we try to do everything we can to keep them on the field. But sometimes, sometimes these coaches, it don't matter. You know, and I've been in situations where it didn't matter how how I done. It didn't matter what I did. This guy just. He didn't like me from the word go, from the plate meeting on. He did not like me. So you get those, you get those coaches that are like that. Sure, you get umpires that their their strike zone gets a little gets a little off. They get a little lazy. You get those guys, and you know I've seen it happen where they have had to eject coaches, and the coaches had every right and reason to be there. But once he once he makes that call and he ejects that coach, that coach has got to leave. He should leave the field at that point. Go ahead. How many people you're going to eject in case you 
get the plus twenty to sixteen to one. I've seen as many as I've seen as many as five go in in one inning at one time. But our job is to try to defuse the situation as quickly and as painless as possible, so that we don't have that trickle down effect where you have one coach that gets mad, he gets ejected. You got another guy out here that gets that he he comes in, he gets ejected. You know, we're trying to avoid that. So to defuse the situation as early and as, as quick as you can. If it starts, if you start hearing that the chirping in the first inning, let's take care of it in the first inning. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of it as soon as we hear.